Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorial. My name is Sergey and today we're going to speak about two features that go hand in hand together by with one click and call requests. First, let me show you how buy with one click feature works from the storefront. Just let's find the product, for example this TV and buy it with one click, buy now with one click. Here I can enter either my name and phone or email. Let me enter my email. By the way, I would like to tell you about the difference between your name and phone and email. Then you enter your name and phone only, they will be created only with a call request. But when you enter the email, there will be a call request and a new order. Just let me show you. Email, submit. We have received your request. The order number 99 has been successfully created. Our manager will contact you soon. And now let me enter my name. Submit. We have received your request, our manager will contact you soon. No information about the order. Alright, now let's go to the admin panel and I'll show you everything that is related to the buy with one click and call requests. Let's go. Call requests and buy with one click are parts of the call request add-in. Add-ins, manage add-ins. Mm, and uh, here we go, call requests. Let's take a look at the settings. Here is the phone. I'll explain a little bit later what what it does. Okay, rewrite phone. Here you can change this default phone. Highlight first chars. It is also related to a phone. And phone mask. Here you can change uh, the mask of a phone. The format, in other words. Enable the buy now with one click option. There it is. And order status. Awaiting call. When the order was created, the status of this order will be awaiting call. And by the way, awaiting call status added by this call request add-in. Okay, that's it I guess about the add-in. Now let's speak about other things. You can find awaiting call status at administration order statuses. There you go, awaiting call. Here you can change the settings of this status if you wish. And by the way, when you delete the add-on, I mean call request add-on, the status will also be deleted, but you cannot delete from here. You can only edit it. Alright, let's move to the call requests page. This is the call requests page and here is the call requests for your managers. Uh, first column is the ID, second column when the call request one was created, third column name and phone, here for this request we have name and phone and here we specified only email that's why this information is not presented in this call request in the first one okay order status here the order wasn't created and here the order is number 99 because we entered the email here if we enter the order number and then save the changes the order will be created next thing responsible here you can assign responsible administrators for the call requests. What else? Here you can delete. If you click the gear button, you can delete the request and change its status. New, in progress, completed, no answer. In progress. When you speak with your client or you make uh, several calls, like a long conversation, completed. When the request was uh, processed and the order was created, and no answer when you call your customer and uh, he or she does not respond. Okay, notes. Leave notes for other ad administrators or for yourself. What else? Requested product. Here you can take a look at the product that was requested. Convenient time. I guess that's it about this panel. Search panel to search for call requests if you have lots of them. Gear button. The only option available here is to delete selected requests and save button. That's it about call requests page. Now I'm going to show you call requests block. Let's go to design, layout 
and here it is, code request block. It contains code request form. You can add the wrapper, but it's not necessary. And uh, enter user defined CSS class if you want to make it look unique. All right. Now let me show you how it, it looks on the storefront. Here we go. This is the code request block. This is the example number that we have seen before. You know, the one that we could change and change its format. And uh, we can click this button, enter our name, phone, and uh, enter convenient time, submit, and uh, the administrator will call you back later. So, once again, you can call by this number and you can request a call from the administrator. It works both ways, easy and convenient. A few things I would like to mention before we finish this video. So, call request add-in is presented in many places in the store. It creates the buy with one click button, it allows your customers to make call requests. It also creates the new status awaiting call and adds call request block. All features that are presented in this add-in are convenient and intuitive. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART video tutorials.